Welcome back to Life Between the Trees. Today I thought we'd take a look at the Sherco 2024 model updates. What are the changes? What stayed the same? Let's get into it. So Sherco recently dropped the 2024 model updates online and they're obviously getting ready to put stock on the water out to the various import partners around the world. Just what did they update and on what models? For all 125, 250 and 300 models, both 2 and 4 stroke, there is new stronger but lighter wheel hub sets, saving 500 grams at each end, so at 1 kilo total saving. New lighter redesigned swing arm, saving a further 200 grams, now with more precise axle adjustments. The new headlight as mentioned, and fender, and an aluminium rear sprocket. There's a new clutch cover design as well. This year Sherco have gone for a grey base colour for the plastics and then added their regular Sherco blue and yellow accents on top. There's also a new LED headlight with a wider, lighter front fender. Quite a different look overall, although the remaining panel shapes are the same pieces as before, which now date back to 2017. Visually there's a new, more durable, single colour blue frame paint. Gone is the previous white base coat, blue top coat of the previous models. Good news for owners who bash away on their sump guards and damage the paint. It will now be more durable and easier to repair. The big 2024 news of course is in the 4 stroke 300 SEF and its little brother the 250 SEF. These two bikes received Sherco's all new small bore 4 stroke engine with completely revised engine casings incorporating piston oil cooling jets and improved crank cooling. For those engine tuning nerds, better thermal control of in-cylinder temperatures means that the tuning can be optimised and even closer to the edge and produce more power. The engine has a brand new balancer design incorporated into the water pump drive shaft, reducing weight. There's a new quieter cylinder head design with reshaped ports, now also with titanium valves on the inlets. A shift drum gear position sensor to allow individual gear based ECU mapping. There is a bigger throttle body, now 42mm for more airflow and more top end power production. The engines now have a higher top RPM limit of 13,700 RPM. That said, it's not all just about top end delivery. Sherco also claim more linear power delivery with more power available from lower in the rev range than the previous engine. They have also retuned the auto idle system to significantly reduce engine braking effect on the overrun. On the outside of the engine, there's new magnesium clutch and alternator covers as well. In short, the engine is smaller, lighter, but more powerful. It certainly sounds like a winning combo. For the 450 and 500 SEF models, changes are limited to the new colours, the headlight, fender, alloy rear sprocket and a new clutch cover design. Basically a bold new graphics model this year. So that pretty much wraps up the changes for this release. Some good news for the most popular models, of course. We'll have to wait for the expected all new frame and body design in the next release from the French manufacturer, as well as for news on the replacement two-stroke engine, hopefully now with the EFI. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Get out into the trees, there's definitely life out there.